I remember when I was a little girl, I would run and play and climb trees on my grandparents' farm and build sandcastles on the beach. And I did so in such a free way. I wasn't worried about my body or how it looked while I played. I simply played. When I was young, I was complimented. My family told me I was beautiful. My mammal taught me pretty is as pretty does. And my worth was not put in my external looks alone. Somewhere along the line, and I've not yet pinpointed where this is in my personal life, but somewhere, somehow, I began to feel the weight and pressure to look a certain way and to be a certain way in my body, to dress a certain way. I remember when I began to feel insecure about certain aspects of my physical appearance. I began to compare myself to others pick myself apart, judge myself. Doesn't every girl want to be beautiful? Doesn't every person want to be beautiful? And loved and wanted and desired and enough? I don't know exactly when or what created the self-judgment and insecurities that I am still attempting to heal today. It seems that it was a slow fade. And it's not just one person or one thing. It's society, it's culture, it's my mind. It's a collection of my personal life experiences that made me not love myself. I lost some of that carefree spirit as I grew up as my body changed, as I became a woman. I judged myself harder, I picked myself apart. I could look in the mirror and see everything that I wished I could change. I could look in the mirror and I could pick every little piece of me apart and think if only that was smaller or if only that part was bigger, or if only the shape of this was different, then I would be so beautiful. Then I would love myself, truly accept myself. And self-love is not just about looking at your physical appearance in the mirror, it's sitting with yourself. It's the thoughts of my mind. I'll remember an awkward moment or something that I did wrong to somebody and it'll torment me. I will let it fester in my mind, torturing myself. 
I'm my own worst critic. And can't we all relate to that? And I'm reclaiming this worth, my self-worth. I'm reclaiming my worthiness because I am worthy of my own self-love. I am worthy of all the love that is already in my own heart. I am worthy of looking in the mirror and loving what I see. I'm worthy of loving me. Self-love is not just about being body positive. Self-love is not just how you view your physical appearance. Self-love is the way that you think about yourself. It's the way that you talk about yourself in your head and out loud. Self-love is self-care. And as I've said previously, self-love is sitting with yourself. Self-love is learning about yourself. It's knowing yourself. Know thyself. Love thyself. Self-love is about self-forgiveness. I can be so hard on myself. As I've said, sometimes I will remember something that I've done that I view as negative or wrong, and I will beat myself up about it. Or I'll remember something that happened to me or was said to me that made me feel like I wasn't enough. It seems that almost no matter what your background is and where you grew up, culture and society, it perpetuates this belief that you are not enough and you should continually seek validation from outside of yourself. And if you have this type of conditioning, it can be very hard to break. And it seems that no one is immune from it. This video was very hard for me to make and put out there. Actually, I take that back. It was surprisingly easy to film. It was a lot harder to edit And it's really hard to put it out there for anyone and everyone to see. It takes a level of vulnerability that I wasn't expecting. I think one thing that makes it so vulnerable for me is pretty much anyone who knows me or has known me most of my life would say that I'm someone who has a lot of confidence someone who doesn't care what other people think. And that is true to a degree. But I really want to smash up this belief that if someone is confident, they don't have any insecurities or they don't judge themselves. And it's true that for the most part, I don't care what most other people think. But the people that are close to me I do care about their opinion. And more importantly, I care about my own opinion about myself. And for a very long time in my life, the opinion that I held about me wasn't a loving one. It was very critical and it was very judging. And it was about two or three years ago when a very dear friend of mine, Miranda, took me to my first yoga class. House of Om in Yellow Springs. 
where the owner, Melissa, taught a class out on their patio. It was the one year anniversary of the yoga studio. And it was when I started that journey of yoga and meditation that I really started my journey of self-love. I started to move my body in a way that felt loving and caring. And I started to view myself as someone who was worthy of that love and worthy of that self-care. Because when you don't think you're worthy of love or self-care, you're not going to love yourself and you're not going to take care of yourself and you're not gonna take the necessary steps to get you to wherever you wanna be in life. And I learned that if there was things that I would like to change about my physical appearance or if there was things I'd like to change about my attitude or me or my habits or my characteristics, if there was anything I wanted to change about myself at all, it had to come from a place of self-love. It couldn't come from a place of hating that about myself. I had to see it, accept it, and love myself so much that I was gonna take whatever necessary steps had to be made to get me to that next level, to get me to the person that I wanted and deserved to be, to be my best self. <laughs> it's not easy to admit that you have insecurities. And it's even harder to admit what those insecurities are. Because if you're already feeling insecure about that part of yourself, to then show it to everybody, that doesn't feel right. It's scary and it's hard. But I'm doing it because it's time for me to share my story. And as I said in my first video, I'm feeling called to share my story, to hopefully inspire others, and to not make anyone else feel so alone that's going through a similar journey. And I think to a degree, we're all on this journey of loving ourselves and like actually truly accepting ourselves, not just saying that we accept ourselves. And it's deep, hard inner work. But to some level, we're all doing it. And I just want anyone who is out there to know that you're not alone. And it's not easy to walk a path of mindfulness and self-compassion. But by doing so, as my teacher Melissa would say, you strip the layers that society has put on you and you come home to yourself. And when you come home to yourself and you stand and live in your own true authentic truth, <laughs> there's no better feeling in the world. And when you can consciously become aware of when you are judging yourself or having negative self-talk and you can catch it, that's big change. That's self-love. Hmm. I wanted to share a little bit of my story and where I've come so far, where I'm coming from. So here I am, I know where I have been, and I know the path that I'm on. I know the direction that I'm heading in. And I'm learning to trust the process and trust the mystery. I'm learning to trust that if I keep doing this deep inner work, then all will fall into place and I will continually step in to the woman that I've always been meant to be, that I always have been and life will just get sweeter and sweeter. And I'll just continually learn to love myself more and more. I think I was also hesitant 
to share this video because I didn't want the ones who know me and love me to think that I just sit around all day feeling sorry for myself or picking myself apart constantly. I have moments where I experience complete love of myself. But I also have these moments where I tear myself down. And I can walk out into the world confidently and still have a little bit of negative self-talk in the back of my mind. I can still be very judgmental on me. And I'm learning to let those pieces go piece by piece. I have learned that when I begin to believe that I am worthy of whatever it is I desire, when I believe that I'm worthy of my like dream body, when I'm worthy of my dream life, when I'm worthy of my best version of myself, then I actually do whatever concrete actions need to happen to become that. but it has to come from here. It has to come from inside of me. It has to come from within my heart. And please just know that whatever you are going through, whatever judgment you place on yourself, whatever insecurities that you have, whatever vulnerabilities you are afraid of, know that it's all going to be okay, that you are okay. And even when you're not feeling okay, it's okay to not be okay. And know that you are loved. Know that you are worthy of your own love. I wanted to post this video, this second video of mine, like a week after I posted my first one. But life and schedules and time got in the way and then there was all this inner stuff that was holding me back to the fear and the, the uneasiness that I felt around my vulnerability. And it, it prevented me from putting this content out there as soon as I planned to. And moving forward, I hope that I can have more consistency with when I'm, when I'm putting out these videos and my content and my story. But I'm not gonna make any promises of a video every week or a certain day or a certain time. It has to happen organically. It has to happen in alignment with me and my path and my life. Because if I'm forcing this stuff out, then that's not staying true to myself. So if you've watched this entire video, if you've watched my first one, thank you so much. And there will be more eventually, <laughs> hopefully sooner than later. And I hope that you know that you are worthy of this life that you are living. You are worthy of all your dreams and all your goals and everything you desire. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy and you are enough, you are love, and you are loved. I wanna be free, so free, like a feather on the breeze, like a bird in the tree, like the dolphin in the sea. I want to fly high, so high, like an eagle in the sky. And when my time has come, I'll let it all go with a sigh. Hot your mama. Mama, I'm coming home to the place.
to fall, be at one with love and all. There is no high, no low, there's nowhere else to go, except inside, open up your heart, and be just who you are. Pacha mama, I'm coming home to the place where I belong. Pacha mama, I'm coming home to the place where I belong. Pacha mama. Pacha mama, I'm coming home to the place where I belong. Thank you for watching. My name is Jessie. This is Reclaiming Worthiness. I am at the mound, the Miamisburg mound. I apologize for any poor quality as far as the video quality goes and sound quality goes. This is my first time having a YouTube channel, and my equipment is my phone. I'm sorry if the quality of the footage is not the best, but I hope the content, you know, what I'm saying and putting forth, I hope that you find that to be high quality. I hope that it resonates with you on some level. And that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. Practice self-love because you deserve it. Namaste. <laughs>